How is it going guys? Taking from the last video about spine 2D characters, I want to show you today how I managed to uh, handle the animations, which is probably not the proper way, uh, but uh, since it is not documented at all, uh, I'm gonna guess. It's one of the ways. As you can see, it's not terrible. But it's idling, it's moving, it's working, it's jumping, and it's kind of tucking here. Now, uh, this is uh, the basic way of doing it, which I'm going to show you from the uh, base character here. So the basic way you can approach animation with spine 2D character in a real uh, is this one. So oh, I'm going to use this character, uh, which is a, a test character, of course which has uh, some really bad animation I made uh, like attack and jump, idle, jump and walk which uh, attack is gonna be really buggy because uh, it's just a frame, it's not even animation but this is for testing so let's see how we can approach uh, the animation inside Unreal taking from the last video about importing spine to the characters uh, now, before we start, in the last video, I forgot about telling you uh, why this is, the project has to be C++. I believe it's not important and your project is going to work anyway, but uh, I missed a step. I unfortunately cut it out of the video. So what we have to do is going to source uh, the name of your project and open the build CS. In the build CS, you want to add dependency here in the public dependency module names, which is a spine plugin. Now, I believe it's not important and it's gonna run the project anyway, but if you're having any kind of problems, this was missing in the last video. So, that said, uh, this is the basic approach of uh, using the animation that I made. Uh, which is like uh, using the input attack here which uh, you should know by now to make inputs and so this is a basic approach uh, just uh, press the attack button and we set the animation attack here and I made this node here to return to the idle and uh, run work animation. So we press, we go into the attack animation, and when released, we go to the default and even uh, attacking. So the default animation is just basically this it is getting the velocity of the actor, uh, transforming it into vector length, and doing a check here if the it is. I get 10 0. If it is I get 10 0, uh, we, go as, we do a select and we go, we check if it's true, we set work, if it falls, we set idle. And that's it. We set, uh, instead of setting the animation this time, we do add animation. So this is the basic approach for jump as well. I did it this way. I created a variable here and do set animation, jump, add animation to the queue, and jump. We can set the delay if we want. And when the animation is done, we set the variable jumping off, and we stop jumping, and we go again to default animation. Now, for the uh, movement here, I added this update animation to the event tick and by checking uh, if we are jumping, if we are not jumping we do another branch and we check again here if we are moving if we are moving we do once and set the animation to work and then we reset it uh, in here we reset idle. So if we're not if we're not working, 
uh, we are going to do instead do once set animation idle and in here we reset the work animation now this is the basic approach in uh, the way we can set the animations we can, so, so you can uh, look at it right now and do basically the same thing to set up a basic animation uh, setup but uh, I want to take things a little bit further so what we're going to do, to do today sorry uh, is uh, now I'm gonna still use this character here For now, I'm gonna take off this. So this is not working. This is fine. Now I'm gonna break this. So we just have the basic jump and stop jumping. Uh, and we're gonna break this too. And move this in. So what I want to do today is use this class as a base character because for this uh, specific project I need it. But you don't have to. You can create a brand new character or use your current character. So I'm going to create a child here, and I'm going to call it spine to the character. Now, once it's done, uh, by the way, this is all the uh, current character it was. Now we're going to change it to uh, our spine to the character. Right, okay. Alright. Now, we have the same kind of character. Let's just make it a little bit different. We can change the... We should be changing the sprite colors at the moment. Let's do it in here. Alright. Now. So we know it is different. Okay. 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 Uh, now. This is in editing the, the... The other... The base character stuff. So we don't need this. And we don't need this right now. We're gonna need the event tick, so I'm going to uh, just drag it off here and add any old something. Okay, so starting off clean. I, I, we, we, need the, we need the event to be in play, I'm sorry. So starting from an event to be in play, an event tick here, since I already have all my character function in the base character. So I can jump, I can walk, and everything's clean. Well, Take things a little bit further today. So I'm gonna teach you step by step how to use the um, spine nodes of the plugin. At the same time, we're gonna try and experiment and make a new uh, animation system. So the animation system I wanna make today is based off the graph here. So first thing we're gonna do is make a new graph. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna call this graph any graph. Just like your animation blueprint we use usually. So just like the animation blueprint uh, we usually use, for animating for the character, we're gonna create a custom event. Create a custom event and we're gonna call it event blueprint update animation. And we're gonna add an input here, new parameter, delta time, and make it a float. Compile and save. Now to make this uh, not work, we need to go back to our event graph, drag, uh, drag the rights from the uh, event tick here. By the way, if we remove this, we should lose functionalities. So if you're doing a child, just keep this connected. Uh, we, we lose uh, child event tick functions otherwise. Now. Uh, let's drag this event we just made here. Plug it in, drag from delta seconds into delta time. Let's make it a little bit cleaner. Oops. Sorry. And that's it. Now it is gonna fire this event each tick. 
So uh, what we're doing here is doing the classic checks we do um, in our adding blueprint in Unreal. So we're gonna make um, like this polling variable and speed variable. You can do uh, everything in, in here, whatever you want. So let's make speed a float and this polling is a boolean. So we're gonna place here and set, place it here and set. Now we're gonna get the velocity of the character, so okay, velocity. Then we're gonna drag off and say vector length. Sorry, I can't spell that. And get vector length squared. And connect it to speed. So you can just connect this here, and now we're getting our player speed. Same thing for polling, let's connect this here, and we can just do uh, drag the character movement in the graph and drag from here and say is polling. And simple. We have all variables here. Now Let's make another ref. I'm gonna call this state machine. In the state machine, we're gonna make another custom event, like so. And we're gonna call the custom event enter state. Compile and save. Now, this may not be the best approach, you can customize it and experiment along the way. Here we're going to make a sequence. From the sequence I'm going to make a bunch of branch. And walk in, and a lot of branch. Now we can connect the branches here. Okay. And from this uh, branch, from, for each branch, we're gonna drag from two and do ones. Let's copy and paste all the ones. Oops, sorry. And for each, connect the calls to the reset. And that's pretty much what we need to do. Let's make these uh, be our checks. So we want these to check the idle state. We want these to check the for state. And we want this. We want this to check the attack state. And we're missing uh, the jump state. So let's check if this jump state. Okay, now that we named these nodes, let's add the condition. So I'm gonna do. Uh, if the character is falling, I'm gonna deny the variable. So say not and do end, and we con can connect the to the condition and. Uh, sorry, we need the speed, so we know that uh, because we're doing the idle now, we need the speed, so if the player is not moving, so it's less or equal 10, connect to the hand, we're idle, so if the player is not falling, And we are not moving, we are idle. We are idling. So to test it, we can do a print string and do idle. So now if I play, 
uh, it's not working because we have to tick the enter state. So I will tick and enter state, and it should now be checking the finish. So now we are idle. Now if I move and I stop again, we are idle again. So what I'm doing here, I'm trying to emulate the 3D character uh, anim blueprint. Something like that is not is not perfect, uh, but it's the idea I got so far. So now let's check if we're working. If you're working, let's copy this out, connect it to work state. Let's take the speed again. This time we do is higher or equal. Connect this here and let's say 10 again. So now compile and save. Let's copy the print string and we say work. Now if I move, it's a I'm working. If I stop it, say I'm mining. That's pretty much it. Now let's add uh, our other variables here. We can make like is attacking a boolean. So we can do like this. Now I'm just gonna keep it the attacking simple just because my animation is not really an animation. It's just for showing uh, that we do the same thing here. And so we can add a print string here too, if we can try. So let's say that. Now, the jump state. For the jump state, we're gonna uh, use the falling variable and let's say uh, is equal boolean is equal boolean set it true and print string and we say we are jumping if I save and compile if I jump it says I'm jumping and we don't have an attack yet so, in the end breath, well, I'm going to do it in the character here. Uh, okay, just for testing, I'm going to do that attack here. Prevent uh, input attack. So, let's not set it really simple. Attack it now. Let's just set the variable true and false. Oops, like this. Okay, so when I attack. It says I'm attacking. Now, this is just the basic setup. We have some kind of fake locomotion here. Let's actually uh, make it do the animation. So, how do we do that? Let's take uh, our spine skeleton animation component here. Let's drag it into the graph and drag from it and say set animation and we can set an animation. However, for the work and idle here, instead of doing set animation, I'm going to do head animation, which uh, from the documentation is Q animation uh, and place just after another one is finished. 
so to not get in the way of for example jumping uh, we're gonna make this so it is an add animation so when we stop when we play the jump animation here it will automatically add to the to the queue and play the for example walk animation so let's say walk i'm gonna set it to loop just gonna add one second play uh, one millisecond play and connect it to the walk Okay, so now let's copy and paste this. And I'm gonna set this to idle here. Okay, now if we try to play, it shouldn't be idle animation and work image. So, we can now uh, do the jumping animation. For the jumping animation, I'm gonna uh, copy and paste this. Let's see there. So, for the jumping animation, I'm going to do a set animation and jump as animation name, no loop. And right after, I'm gonna queue the add animation. And as animation, I'm gonna set and jump. Let's set for giving. Let's see. Let's try to jump. Nice. And it's going right after into the idle animation as I said. Now let's try while walking. It's doing the same thing while walking. So it's just transitioning because we uh, set this to add animation instead of set. As for two. Now, for the attack here, uh, this is pretty. This will be pretty helpful for me, but yeah, if you have a decent attack animation, this can work. So yeah, let's just try before doing anything else. Do animation, and let's say attack. Let's go loop. So as you can see, uh, we already have a problem here. Since this is a frame, it is stopping there. So make sure you have real animation, not this. This is bad. Okay, what I'm gonna do instead is let's try to connect it to work. So we have this kind of glitch animation here. Oh, yeah, see, uh, the only uh, thing I can really do here is really this. Press a branch and say. Uh, speed spreader or equal 10. If it's true, I'm going to walk. If it's false, we are going to hide. No, it's not glitchy. Now, okay, so just for a uh, demonstration, you're gonna have a better uh, attack animation for your character, your main spine. But just for demonstration, I'm gonna add a little delay and play. And we are attacking right now. See? And if I attack, it goes to idle. If I attack while I'm working, it goes to working. And it's transitioning really fine and clean. Of course, with the character made well with proper animation, it will look way better. So this is the way you make your animation for your character in spine, or at least over how I handled it, and this is my kind of system, and it will help you keep your blueprints tidy. So you have your anime graph here, which is useful, and your state machine, which is the stone of animation you can set up in here, so you don't mess up your event graph. Uh, thank you very much for watching. If you have any question, uh, there is the comment box below, or you can join my Discord where I will give you a priority on questions. And uh, this is my upcoming uh, platformer starter kit I'm working on. It's more like a little 
engine pack and I will talk about it soon so stay in touch subscribe and if it was useful hit the like button see you soon guys